have something to tell you. Come closer, a little bit closer. Good morning! <laughs> Are you guys ready to have fun with me? Come on, get up! I know I can't see you, but I hope that you were up and you were dancing because I actually got a workout in, okay? <laughs> now, you're going to watch a video about Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount, but I want you to pay attention to two things, what he did after and what happened with the disciples. Enjoy! God's Story, the Sermon on the Mount. So part of God's story is about a sermon Jesus gave on the side of a mountain and what he did afterwards. And it goes like this. One day, when Jesus saw crowds gathering to hear him teach or see him do miracles, he went to the side of a mountain. It was near the Sea of Galilee, across from a place called Capernaum. From there, he gave a message all about God's kingdom and his love. We call this message the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus started by explaining who would get blessings or favor from God. He said the most blessed people are those who are poor, sad, or humble. He said God shows favor to people who are just or treat others fairly, and people who are merciful or show love to those who don't deserve it. He said the people who are pure, who bring peace, or who get hurt for doing right will be rewarded for their actions in heaven. In other words, the people who love others, even when it makes them seem weak or unimportant on earth, are like heroes in God's kingdom. Anyway, Jesus went on to explain that when we believe in and follow him, it's our job to show everyone else who he is by loving them. That means going out of our way not only to comfort and help our friends, but also forgive people who hurt us, love our enemies, and give to people in need. The thing is, Jesus didn't just talk about love, he showed it all the time. In fact, right after giving this sermon, Jesus spent the rest of the day helping everyone he met. First, as Jesus came down from the mountain, a man with a skin disease called leprosy knelt before him. Lord, the man said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Usually, no one wanted to be around people with leprosy. But Jesus touched him and said, I am willing, be healed. Instantly, the leprosy disappeared. Then, when Jesus arrived in Capernaum a bit later, a soldier said to him, Lord, my servant is in terrible pain. Right away, Jesus said, I will come and heal him. 
The officer said, Just say the word from where you are, and my servant will be healed. Jesus told him, Because you believed, it has happened. The officer's servant was healed. A little later, Jesus arrived at his disciple Peter's house. Peter's mother-in-law was there too, sick in bed with a high fever. Jesus touched her hand, and the fever left. Later that evening, many other people who were demon-possessed or sick came to see Jesus. He brought relief to all of them. At the end of the day, Jesus got into a boat with his disciples. Suddenly, a fierce storm came out of nowhere. Waves began crashing into the boat. The disciples realized that even though they were in the middle of a giant storm, Jesus was fast asleep. They shouted, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. Jesus said, you of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he told the wind and waves to stop. They did. That day, Jesus taught a lot of people how to love and showed them what love looks like. Whenever somebody took their sickness or pain or fear to Jesus, he helped them. Everybody who met Jesus got to experience his love. And when we love like Jesus, everyone who meets us can feel his love too. And that's the story of the Sermon on the Mount. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Crowds gathered. Jesus went to a mountain. He gave a sermon. He talked about God's kingdom. He told us how to love others. Jesus didn't just talk about love. He showed it. He healed sick people. He saved people who were demon-possessed. He calmed storms. He showed his love to everyone he met. Our job is to do that too. And that's a part of God's story. Okay, two things that I want you to take away from this story. One, Jesus didn't just talk about being a good person. He showed people how to be a good person. And that's something that I really want you to pay attention to. Okay? Don't talk about it. Be about it. The second thing, the disciples were scared. Those were his friends. They were with him all the time and they were still scared. Now think about it. There are going to be times where you're scared and you don't know what to do, but I need you to remember who is with you at all times, okay? 